welcome my name is Obinda Akon. welcome uh, we want to share with you today how to uh, start a retail shop in Ghana how to start a retail shop in Ghana I'm here with Marie welcome thank you mm -hmm. happy new year happy new year if today is your first time on this channel please do where to subscribe and then invite your friends also share with your friends so the topic is Yes, how to uh, start a retail shop or open a retail shop. Retail is a major thing. It's a major business in our country, and you see shops everywhere. So some of the factors that you can look at inciting a uh, shop. Yes. Okay, so inciting a retail shop in Ghana, one of the mo most important things to look at is the culture of Ghanaians. I mean, how do Ghanaians respond to retail? How how is their psyche? How how is our psyche? Because I'm also a Ghanaian. Are we easily comfortable with a very nice shop, or we will want a shop that we can feel at home with? How how do we see things? And then also, I mean, the the climate system in Ghana. In, there was a particular shop that opened which did not last. Let me use that, that as an example. They came in at a brand from one of those countries to Ghana. And when they, they, they came here, because they already had a parent company, they came with the same product from the other parent company. In a different country, they had different climate conditions. They had winter summer and others but in ghana here the weather is always hot it doesn't get so cold but unfortunately they brought the same items here so they were selling items like winter shoes sweaters that were not needed here it was really against our culture because we, we, we were not clothing in those kind of um, fashion and so people were not people were not buying it so the culture of the people in terms of what they wear, um, what they wear, and how they they pick up items based on their climate. Mm -hmm. It's also very important. Okay. And then the location, mm -hmm. the location of the shop. This, that is another important area. You select a location where you can get most food. Most people come in there. That's where the food traffic is high. So is this a location that people can easily walk in to buy or they will have to come there with a car? And how many people can, can easily come there and have a parking space with your location? Okay. So the location is also, I mean, it's also key to All right. So in terms of the culture, you said it's a key thing. Mm -hmm. um, some, we, we attach a lot of the, um, we are very price sensitive economy. And so if you have a shop and you have well, very you know design is so well it's very nice you know mm. <laughs> everything looks expensive then we think that your things are expensive uh, so most people will not even enter the shop because they think that your things are outrageous uh, a lot of westerners um, in court come with that thinking they think in terms of standards and in terms of international the Ghana uh, we don't buy uh, with credit card we mm. buy as we have the money and so where you position the shop is very key and as Marie said the, the the culture is also very key we are very much price sensitive and you don't bring uh, winter things here winter thinking shoes. that we will wear them not many people <laughs> will wear sometimes and then these things will also go against your pricing because mm. then you are you are looking at bringing some things and, and converting them to dollar to pounds to euro uh, if the things are very much expensive then you must look at places where people have money if I'm opening a shop at Amasamai, for instance, you should know the kind of people who live at Amasamai, the, the income bracket, what they are comfortable buying. And so that's, that's how you are looking at how to set this business to do well. Mm -hmm. Because most people open shops and the next one month, uh, the next one year or two, they close it. Why? Because some of these factors were not so much considered. So you're looking at the f traffic, how many people are passing there and what amount, what do you think they spend on? You know how, and how conveniently can they enter uh, your shop sometimes you position the shop in a very key you know a lot of vehicular traffic but then there's no parking 
you don't have any place that people can easily park and walk to the shop you know so you must make sure that if if the vehicle traffic is good do, do you have parking if you don't have parking then you must know that you are not going to get a lot of the traffic converted you know and that's why you can see most of our places where people have volumes uh, in terms of re the retail business is the key market places are doom uh, Makola, you know la paz why because that's where the people go there purposely to buy so if you're not in such areas then you must know that where i'm positioning this uh, business to 